what's up guys welcome back to shane's movie review shane here uh just got done with my 22nd movie of 2020 uh already on a great pace even though i'm not in the movie theater and tonight was my first netflix party uh we got a whole host of people here yeah. tonight. <laughs> tyler oh uh, yeah chloe layla and chris i'm gonna give this to chloe first we just saw the movie lost girls uh, available on Netflix, and Chloe, since she has seen it twice, she's going to talk about it first. All right, guys. I thought this was a pretty okay movie. Um, I was still kind of confused the second time I watched it. Nothing really entirely made sense. Um, so this is a true story, and I feel like if it wasn't a true story, it would be an extremely boring movie. And that's really all I have to say. Can I go now? Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Tyler. <laughs> um, I give this movie a... No, we're not oh, doing not that yet. My rating yet. Sorry. I give this movie a bad rating then. Uh, I didn't like it that much because I was confused. Uh, I have to... <laughs> if everything in the movie is not directly explained for me, then I get lost easily. So I only knew the name of the girl who died because they kept saying it over and over. Uh, they kind of just like rapidly were introducing characters and, and plot devices that I didn't like. And um, yeah, I feel like what Chloe said is right, that if it wasn't um, a true story, then nobody would watch it. That's all I got to say. All right, Layla, you want to go? Yeah, so my internet's kind of laggy, so sorry if I'm like <laughs> not responding like that weird stuff on the news where they're like, <laughs> so, um, at first I was like this is gonna be a good movie um but I oh uh, yeah tell us how you really feel <laughs> I can't what's happening all right, all right. Like, like, keep what is happening no Armis it's it's okay everyone up oh, there goes Layla all right Armis <laughs> uh, left, left us for a second. Why don't you talk about your thoughts on the movie? Because you had a strong like, probably oh, yeah. should have been like not like a movie. Honestly, it was kind of just it was just boring. Nothing happened. No one like got killed. Like we saw it. It was just like no plot twists. Nothing. Boring. All right. Very fair. All right. Let me. I'll. I'll share my thoughts now. Um, I'm, you know, I had, uh, semi high expectations. I know it had a good rating on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, around a 70%. So I was going to give this movie a chance. Uh, didn't know it was a true story until it said it at the beginning. Uh, so that was really interesting to find out right in my backyard here on Long Island. Uh, didn't know this happened. And I think that the point of this movie that they were trying to make is that no one cared at the point of when this happened. I watched this uh, downstairs with both my mom and my dad. We've been on Long Island for, uh, well, they've been here for, you know, 20 something years. And they said when this happened, they heard about it, but they blew it off. Just like the police did in this movie. The point is to bring awareness to the prostitutes that were murdered uh, and that went missing that no one cared about. Uh, Amy Ryan is the lead actress in this movie. I thought she was great. I thought she did a great job. Uh, people would recognize her as Holly from The Office, probably most notably. Uh, but she was great. Um, Tyler, you you know the daughter. What What's her name? Uh, Thomason McKenzie. Yeah, she, she was, was. She was the the um, the Jewish girl that they hid in Jojo Rabbit. Um, and uh, while she is in fact my celebrity crush, her acting is not on par with the rest of the cast. Just because you had such strong actors in it. Um, uh, the actor who played the cop, I think, was fantastic, and so was um, the lead actress. But uh, when you have a part like that that requires uh, dedication and you have a weak actress, it's just, in my opinion, it doesn't come across as uh, thought out. Yeah, she was a little off-putting in her role, uh, Mackenzie was. Uh, she was great as her in her role of Jojo Rabbit, where she played uh, whoever... Jojo Rabbit, the, the Jewish girl in the wall. Uh, but in this one, she kind of felt like she was playing the, the same exact person in that movie, and it wasn't working for me. It was really distracting. 
Uh, but if that one was like a t- like a toned down version of the girl from Jojo Rabbit, if anything. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And sometimes the it sounded like they were murmuring their lines. It was a little off putting. Uh, sometimes just couldn't understand what they were saying. But overall, I didn't think this movie was as terrible as people were saying. Uh, even though it was based on a true story, sometimes you just have to give the stuff like this a chance, hear out what everyone has to say. And honestly, there was a lot of cool camera angles that I really enjoyed, the cinematography of it all. Uh, so I thought that was a nice little added bonus in. But let's hear, Chloe, why don't you start us off what you're going to give this movie on our, my uh, rating scale. All right. Well, first off, I'm going to give Layla's score. She just texted me and wanted to <laughs> apologize and say, uh, you know, just say sorry for her poor internet connection. Um, she gave it a 40 out of 100. Okay. So F. Fair. Um, I was going to give it a 79. Okay, rather, probably, probably pretty high to what other people have with their expectations, but it's a fair number. Tyler? Uh, I would like to say that Layla, in fact, stole my score, and that I was also going to give it a 40, so for the sake of varying it a little bit, I'll give it a 41.5. There you go. Oh, 41.5. Okay, that's new. That's new on the channel. We have a, we have a decimal number. It's not a rookie score like a 40 would be, but uh, Armis, what are you going to give it? All right, it seems like... All right! agree <laughs> with you that there was oh, oh. camera angles and cinematography was good. 37.3. 37.3. Okay, so we had some new, some new numbers here, some decimal numbers that people uh, are giving it. Uh, I originally told Chloe I was going to give it between a 77 and 79. Uh, the more I thought about it, the more that I realized uh, what the movie was really about and the other movies available on Netflix that you could watch instead of this. I'm going to give it uh, a 73. Uh, still in that 70 range, pretty similar to other movies that I've seen right now. Uh, you'll see before this uh, Trolls World Tour that I just reviewed and Stargirl. Uh, so all those movies you'll know my score for, but this one, going to give it a 73. That's right in the middle of the pack. Four movies that I've seen in 2020. Uh, I'll have an updated list, probably do a video on that at some point, letting everyone know where movies stand at this point in the year as we're about, you know, one-fourth of the way through. Uh, But other than that, Chloe, Tyler, Armis, thank you for joining me. Layla, who was here for a split second. Uh, It was nice to have a a party going, and hopefully we get some more people next week. We get some new perspectives, and we have just as great of a time. But as always, peace out.